Hello, kid cousin. Thank you for joining us. Okay, why is the speeder here? Okay, let's loot first. Shani battle stimulant. Okay. Oh, there was a hill up there. Can I move up there? Okay. Uh, sometimes I have to shake my head at how seamless they walled the, the map off. But what can you do, right? What can you do if you don't want to have use invisible walls? Oh yeah, I remember this here. Shall we go on before we advance here the um, the story, the storyline or the quest? Shall we go on a little uh, Kinras stomp? Ready. I think you are up for it, guys, right? Just like me. Hello, Christy X. Oh yeah, I'm done to eat now. Yes, we are, and good memories are coming back. So let's do this. Let's start this. Okay, there's the first Kinrath. Hello. Uh, Jordi will support you. Handmaiden. With a little bit of Master Valor. There you go. And now Handmaiden uses her power attack. And we will watch P3 shooting. Ooh. Yes. Did you hear that death cry of that thing? That sounded strange to me. All right, let's explore this map or the, the edges of this map so that I have a good map overview of this area. Let's move in. All righty, Jordy. More master valor, please. Thank you. You start shooting. Yeah, and you're using your power attack. That's perfect. Ready. Why are you moving up to him? I shall honor them with you. You, you. <laughs> P3 is pulling more. P3 would be a very bad raider in on in MMOs. Yes. Pulling stuff. <laughs> I don't like that death cry. Oh, she's also very aggressive, I have to say. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, please continue master rapid shots. That's a good idea. Do we have still some loot over here? Let's have a look. Nope. Let me check that corpse here real quick. Alrighty. Uh, Christy X says you either use visible or invisible ones, no matter what, you'll hear complaints. That's true. Okay, T3, anything else over here? Oh, there is a crystal cave over here. We don't even need crystal yes. caves. But we will still go in there, I know you guys want me to. T3, are you just standing there? Come on, T3. Just use your base Ready. attack, if nothing else. <clears throat> what else we got? Is this another transition? No, it's just... Hmm. Just there. To break the monotony. Here we go! More Kinrath! Let's stomp him! Let's stomp him! Okay, let's do this. And T3, please shoot, by all means. <laughs> From behind Jordy. Where is this thing going? Or where is this thing thinking it's going? No loot. They don't leave any loot behind. I'm here. Yeah, handmaiden. You go and show them. I like the Sonic uh, Sonic Blast, I have to say. They're just beautiful. Oh! There is something, someone up there, but first let's complete the map. Okay, cool. The overview of this map. So, uh, sad. What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. No, this is my territory now. Oh, why did, am I talking to him with Handmaiden? Maybe he's more perceptive to her. Kin, uh, no. D am I, uh, do I actually get an option to ask about... Kinrest? You killed like 50, 50 of them before you came here. What are you doing out here? That's the question. A couple weeks back, 
There was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to coon down his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. <coughs> Why are you looking into it? I'm one of the Kunda militia. They need all the able bodies they can get. I was a Republic custom inspector before I came back home. Now I'm the closest thing the militia's got to an investigator. Do you suspect foul play? I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something, hmm? Kid Cousin earlier said, it's an open world, the only problem is the fence around that blocks you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> TK says in before fi he finds a shotgun in the spider corpse. Yeah, totally reasonable, right? I, I, I cannot tell you what I all, what I find, what I already found in uh, dead rat bodies, rat bodies. So why not in spider bodies? Christy X says to be honest, I prefer it like this so that I don't even have to try whether I can go somewhere rather than repeatedly falling down. In the attempt of trying. Hey, hey! See who who joined us? Pew, 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 pew! Hello, Stephanie. Always glad to have you around. And extra for you, we always take T3 with us. Okay. To be honest, we take him with us because he's awesome. But look, he he's making a little welcome dance for you. Look at T3. Look. He's like meep 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 meep. Stephanie arrived. Meep meep. Uh, Kid Cousins and MCs are most perceptive to female uh, OCs using slutty clothing. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> okay. What's in the atmospheric sensor? It depends on what it is. I doubt you'll be able to find any evidence of what happened here. But you might come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you can find, even if they're broken. Any idea where they could be? No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one. But I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. Well, that sounds like a good deal. I'll do that for you. I'll see what I can do. Because I just lost 1,000 credits in total. No, actually, that's not true. I won the other one, right? The 750. Still, I lost a game that cost me a thousand credits during my Pazak run, so I'm eager to win that back. Okay, let's have a look at this steel cylinder here. Mandalorian heavy repeater and plasma grenade. Oh yeah, plasma grenades are awesome. Okay, any anything else that we can take care of here? Oh no. That's where we came from. That was another transition. This house is cleansed. This house is gereinigt. Jolly Jones has the best T3 impression, I think. You think? Yeah. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Uh, even better than his Elstotskan border guard one. Well, now I'm... I don't know if you are honest now. If I can take your word for on this. This is empty, okay. So that it's so that you guys know, I'm running around with Handmaiden because she's the melee character here, right? She needs to be in front when we stumble upon bad guys. Oh, Elima Kito's robe, Iotren Bracement armor. Who is Iron Iotren? I will look these things up immediately. Iotren Bracement armor, heavy, defense eleven, dexterity one. A bonus feed, precise shot, and targeting. Okay, okay. That's not for her. It's not for her. What else we got? Oh, the rope. Right, so that was the um, droid stuff that we picked up. Fine. Uh, well, that rope, though. 
Alima Kito's robe. We already had one. So, oh, it's too dark side. I knew it sounded dark sidey. Alright, let's run around with T3. We like his uh his moving sound. Me me me. It's so reassuring to know that T3 is here, right? Alright, what's up here? I think this was the this was the area where that murder mystery was last time. Or is this the thing here in Koto 2? I might actually re remember wrong. No, no, it was in Koto 1, of course. Yeah, that was the area. We will move there later. First have an impression of the whole map here, so let's have a look. Yeah. Okay, okay. This is where we came from, so what's this? Kunda main entrance, side security entrance, and what was this? Kunda garage entrance. I didn't see any garage things going on. Okay, let's talk to the lady here, Miss Jordi. She's called Dylan. What do you want now? Uh, tell me about the administrator. Oh, she, she was the agricultural administrator of Dantooine. After the sip, we know this already. Why are there so many mercenaries we here? We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after As the war, always. many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. Uh, Hassan Hunter said, you came out net plus 100 and 500 credits, you money grabber. Hey, have you seen how uh, how expensive everything is in this universe? Check the crystal cave, maybe, says TKJ Pi. I shall, I shall. Uh, I suspect there is lightsaber stuff in there and we don't need that because we are doing a um, blaster run here. But we will still go in there. You guys want that, right? Just follow the yellow brick road. After all, the, the cave is well hidden. It's just off to the left of the main path. Nah, if you see an elf a little beyond that path, kill it, cause it elves don't belong to Kotor. So if you want, you can just call me TK. Most people do. TK, yeah, that will be easier. Do they cause any problems here? The difference between an out of work mercenary and a bandit is just a fiber blade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, food, or whatever just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on cath hounds. Nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. Who has disappeared? A farmer here and there, or a family. We lost enough people during the war that keeping the Cath Hound and Kinrath populations under control hasn't been possible. So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. So the disappearances might be just coincidence, but a lot of the stubborn folks seem to be more accident prone. I'll be gone. Okay. This is the main entrance here. We don't want to go through the main entrance yet. I heard a rumor that the administrator met with a Jedi. If that's true, I'll quit. I'm not gonna work for someone that associates with them. Uh, okay, sorry guys. I want to check the garage real quick because that sounds new to me. So get the speed up. So if you see the screen uh, being blurry here now, that is because uh, I have my uh, Jedi speed up. Jedi speed. Ah, yeah, we didn't check the door. I remember the land speeder, but not the door. It's locked! At least we don't have a militia here. Okay, we can't do anything about that. Okay, then there, I suspect there will be a, um, a cutscene or something later on in this, uh, this situation here. Okay. Um, I suspect it's better to go um, and follow the story here now because I suspect um, quest givers to s be inside. So let's just walk through the main gate and hear what the administrator has to say. Um, I think they want me to talk to the administrator before I do anything else. Hey, T3, where are ya? T3? T3? T3! Ah, there are ya. I didn't know that you had a little pocket uh, transporter. That's mighty useful, T3. So, let's walk in. Uh, 
Ah, uh, Hovinal says, so you it's not my lack of coffee Jedi making this screen here? blurry. After all they've done to us, they wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant, and never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he Always. saw a Jedi <laughs> Kunda. Could be Running their mouth. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Oh, she Unless wants to cash in. To it. Okay, they were standing here. I saw myself in the background. So let's talk to these very courageous ladies over here. You want to cash the in? Salvages keep coming here and bothering the militia. That Garavik is the worst of them. Well, if it weren't for the Jedi, we'd be a prosperous community. They brought us nothing but trouble. All right, that sounds a little bit more like it. What you just said. Okay, let's talk to the receptionist. Helpful people, like what? Welcome to right? You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Do you know who Garavik is? Garavik is a salvager, the worst one of the lot. Try to stay clear of him. He's a dangerous one to cross. Meh. <laughs> what was that before? Arrogant superior? All fits to me. I don't. I don't care about dangerous, dude. Where is the administrator? Her office is directly behind this room. Okay. You really can't miss it. She can see you now if you like. Of course. Why does every, everyone think I'm a salvager? That's a bad question. What do you have in Kunda? The things that would most interest you are our weapon merchant Anzeron, the leader of our militia. Akere is still around here somewhere too. He sells droid components. Mm hmm. Where can I write the weapon Just shop? Just go to the central corridor and make a right. His shop is the first on the right. Mm hmm. Uh, where, why would I need to see Zaren? If you get into any trouble, he's the person you'd contact. Unfortunately, recent problems with the salvagers and mercenaries have kept him quite busy. Mm hmm. Kid Cousin said and said, Hi, I'm a Jedi. You said something? <laughs> Should have been able to say that. Hello, Ben Wild. How's it going? You say a short hello to Jordy and his Jordy Jordians. Man, I miss all the epicness these days. Feels bad, man. Uh, glad there's YouTube to catch up later on. Ben Wild, you did that, and thank you for stopping by, uh, and letting us know. You know that 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 forms community and unity. I like it, Ben Wild. Thank you. Uh, okay, recent plop problems like what? The mercenaries cause disruptions for some of our outlying settlers. They are a constant source of friction for us. I hear the salvagers are having some internal problems too. Could you go into more details? No, I couldn't. If you're really interested in that, just speak to Zeron. That's uh, disappointing that you can't. What can you do, actually? Let's talk Certainly. about something else. I have to go. Alright, let's go through here. Staff. Sulu. Let's talk to the generic person first. A lot of people here hate Jedi. But when they were here, they tried helping us. I don't blame them. Oh, finally someone with a little bit of sense. Sulu! Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. Waiting? Pfft, that's not for me. Stand aside, lowly person. Uh, what are you waiting for? I'm here to get another pat in the back from the administrator and hear how unfortunate my situation is. <laughs> my problem is important, and they'll get around to it. I'm sick of all their excuses uh, and empty words. Talk of politics. I need justice Politicians. now. I fought in the war, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. About what? What exactly is your Salvagers problem? Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. Then, they sell what they find back to us at inflated prices. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. Hear the thought. Uh, how about uh, the whole concept of property is wrong? Doesn't belong to anybody. How was that? Uh, what was stolen from you? A lot of farming equipment. It's not even valuable, just important for the moisture vaporators and hydro processors. The thief must be desperate for credits. Is there anything I can do to help? I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. 
If you could go... No, I look like a Jedi, actually. Camp ...and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator, I would be very grateful. I'll look I'm into it. Rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. I'm glad that he's male. Otherwise, you know, that last sentence. Uh, where's the salvage again? It's right next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. The smell? Okay. Miss them. I have a good nose. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. Shall do. Alright, let's move in. Ah, okay. This shall bring us back to the front. Garavik is here. He wanted to do something about the Jedi, right? So Zeron let's hear him talk. The mercenaries. I think he should let the little things slide. He's making things worse for everyone. Little things. Uh huh. Okay, Garrick. What's the, what's your, your deal? Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship. Yes. No friendly greetings I hear for you. Well, I I can hear from your from your voice from your accent that you are bad. Uh, my ship isn't battered. You act like I have insulted your woman. Indeed. A ship I haven't seen. But if it takes after you, it can't be in perfect condition. Ooh. I am done being inconvenienced by you. He played Secret of Monkey Island. He knows uh, a good insulting battle. Insult Another battle. Another interruption. You must not have heard who I am. No, who Waste are you? another's time, not mine. Someone yeah, blah blah. Important. I'm not staying around to hear that dribble anymore. Uh, okay, let's go to the right. So this might be the administrator's chambers, right? Yeah. Let's talk to the generic guy first. I heard a rumor that the administrator met with a Jedi. If that's true, I'll quit. Well, you're standing right in front of her. Why don't you ask? And it actually is happening right now. Oh, she has a strange face. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're the owner of the um, ship that just landed? Yeah, it's a ship. And it's a good ship. That ship is one of the fastest in the galaxy. I always wanted to say that once. So let's say it. I meant no disrespect at all. It good. Is in fact a good for you. Vessel. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. I wonder, was she here in KOTOR 1? I don't think so. She looks... not old enough for that. I prefer if you keep that quiet. Jedi don't seem to be liked here, or particularly anywhere these days. That is an unfortunate truth. And a wise request, which of course I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. No, it isn't. Ben Wild said earlier, not at home for a week longer and the connection is quite bad here, so no uh, Jordi thons. Ben Wyatt, it'll, it'll be over soon, it'll be over soon. Always see the light at the horizon. Kit Cousin says, um, So they got a problem with Jedis and salvagers, but somehow the mercenaries ain't such a big bother. Strange, isn't it? Hoinald says, hang in there, Ben Wyatt. Ben Wyatt says, as, uh, as I said, glad there's YouTube to catch up once I'm able to. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Uh, Garavik, yeah, he had to do something with, uh, the uprising against the Jedi, yeah. Kid Cousin says, I really wish that, uh, that guy back there would say something in the lines of, we don't take kindly to your types around these parts. <laughs> that was Park! We don't take kindly to your types. Okay, uh, arrival. what do you mean by that? I'm looking for Jedi. Could you tell me who you are talking about? The Force seems to have guided me here for a reason. Yeah, in front of others, the Jedi speak in mysteries. Right? So let's say this. Indeed. 
A true coincidence seems very rare in the affairs of Jedi. But I should tell you, my friend, let's just call him Frock. We've known yeah. each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Persuade lie? No, I'm not lying. He didn't send for me, but I would like to meet with him. Master Rook was here? What happened to him? Rook and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? I would. Ah, yeah, of course. I am not a Jedi. I am a scoundrel. So I say I could use some supplies to ward off the dangers of the ruins or credits. From what I know of your type, you have all of the equipment you need to deal with the sublevel. I do realize the Jedi Order disbanded, so you must find credits yourself, however. The sublevel is dangerous what? enough that the salvages have not managed to properly search it. There are many artifacts of value. Normally, I ask for a percentage of all salvage. In your case, however, you can take whatever you find without the customary tithe. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Her logic does make no sense at all! Most of her sentences are like, oh, there's so much danger, expect danger, ooh! Also, there's the fact that a Jedi Master just va vanished and disappeared in the sublevels. And then she's saying, oh, you are sufficiently equipped, don't ask me for that. What? Well, at least she's not, she's not taking her cut. How incredibly helpful this lady is. What are the dangers of the sub-levels? Is there any work I can do here? Do the people of Dantrin really hate the Jedi? What can you tell me about the people of Dantrin? Mm -hmm. So what are the dangers? Like many parts of Dantooine, the sub-level of the Enclave has become infested with dangerous creatures. Large, <laughs> vicious insects called Lagrex have made the sub-level their home. Several uh -huh. salvages have reportedly been injured or killed by the Lagrex. I would expect a Jedi to fare better against the creatures than the salvages. But Vrook has not returned in some time. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Ben Wild, have a nice one. See you soon, Ben Wild. Christy X said before, Jody Jones, any idea what you'll play once quarter two is over? No, I have no idea. That'll take a while still, I think. Um, Path of Exile, maybe, says Sad Hunter. Would be good to watch. Uh, do you think Path of Exile would be a good thing? I have it installed and up to date. But I haven't played it uh, for weeks now. Wouldn't that be boring to watch? I don't know. Christy X is probably a good choice. PoE is a superb game, but it might be too slow for it streams. I think Jordi Jones and PoE would work well though. Okay. What's PoE? It's, um, oh, you are talking Pillars of Eternity. And I thought you were talking Path of Exile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the problem with these abbreviations these days, right? Even even the, the, they can't find uh, separate uh, abbreviations these days for titles.